All right. All right. So what do we have here? What do we have here? It's uh it's a horizontal stretch and shrink. Okay. Now it was not a pretty topic back in the absolute value because uh of all kinds of challenge. So now let's go ahead, fix this once and for all. And uh, everyone should be able to get it right. Now it's very important that we understand the uh, the uh, the interpretation of the B value right here. Okay, when you have a two right here, the B value it's two. Okay, the B value it's two, but the interpretation of the transformation is this. We will say that this is a horizontal by a factor of, all right, so do you know what are the terms or what words or numbers are missing? So this is a horizontal shrink or compression by a factor of one half. I know it's a shrink because it's by a factor of one half, okay? So, so that's something that a lot of people missed last time in the absolute value unit. So now it's a good time to redeem yourself if you were one of the students who tend to miss those questions. So what about the, so how do we um, do the graphing? Now we will still do the 1357, okay? We'll still do the 1357. The only thing that's changed is that if it is uh, shrinking by a factor of one half, so usually we go to the right one unit, right? And then do the one, three, five, seven. Now we still have the same vertex for this one, uh, since there's no uh, horizontal or vertical translation. Uh, but instead of going to the right by one unit, we go to the right by half a unit and then up one, okay? Half a unit and up one. So every time we move to the right or left, it's moving by half a unit, not one unit anymore. It's half a unit. So the next move, it's going to be half a unit, a half a unit again, up three. Half a unit again, up five. Okay. So there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay. All right. So that's what we have. That's it. Okay, that's really it. Okay, so uh, originally we move right one unit, up one unit, right one unit, and up three units, right? So uh, now we're saying, hey, uh, let's go ahead and uh, horizontal shrink for one half. So we just do half a unit, still one, half a unit, and then still three. Okay, that's the horizontal shrink. So it gets a lot easier, okay? It gets a lot easier when you uh, practice a few times more. Okay, so uh, vertex is still zero, zero. All right, so the correct interpretation is where we start. And once we have the correct interpretation, then we can go ahead and do the sketch very easily. So now the next example right here, it's one half of the B value. So what is the interpretation of this uh, transformation here? It is a horizontal. Again, I'm going to leave it blank so that you can figure it out first by a factor of how many? All right, it is a horizontal what? By a factor of what? It's a horizontal, well, it's by a factor of two because it's the reciprocal. And because it's a two, it's a horizontal stretch, okay? It's a horizontal stretch. So how does it work? Well, no, no vertical or horizontal translation, so vertex is still zero, zero. So, uh, well, it's uh, stretching by a factor of two. So instead of going to the right one unit, now we're going to the right two units and then go up by one. So two units to the left and go up by one. Two units to the right, to the right and then go up by three. Okay. All right. So two units to the right and then go up by five. Okay. So you can see, okay, now, now another thing I want to emphasize here, okay, words do carry meanings. And it is quite unacceptable in any sense that if you say it's a horizontal stretch, but somehow the graph is not 
this. Okay, I mean, if it's a horizontal stretch, it should be it should look stretched horizontally, right? It would not make sense to say it's a horizontal shrink, but then you are presenting this graph to the world. All right. Again, words do carry meanings, even though it's a math class. Okay, words do carry meaning. So when you say horizontal stretch, make sure that whatever you're graphing, it it matches the meaning of the words. Okay. All right. Now, uh, the next one, it's going to be a little combination here. Uh, we have here, right here. So let's go ahead and interpret this first. Okay. And this one is horizontal blank by a factor of blank. So what do you think? Okay, horizontal what by a factor of what? It will be by a factor of three. It's a horizontal stretch. Okay, and afterwards, you would also uh, shift the whole graph down two units, okay? So where is our vertex? Our vertex is now at zero comma negative two, okay? Zero comma negative, negative two is our vertex. And then we'll go ahead and do a horizontal stretch, okay? So we'll still do our one, three, five, seven, but to the right, three units first, and also to the right or the left, okay? And then, uh, and then up three units, up three units, okay? And then up five units, so uh, right here, up five units, right here. So you can see it's really, really stretched, all right? It's really, really stretched far apart from each other. Ooh, all right. So, so we can see, okay, it's stretched even more than the previous graph. Okay, so, so that's how you handle all these transformations. So again, we're still doing one, three, five, seven, but here we're just changing the way it it uh, changing the way we count the squares uh, left and right only. Okay, but uh, vertically we're still doing one, three, five, and seven. Now for the next video, we're gonna look at how we mix all the transformations together. Okay, we pick a few. Uh, to talk about, okay, some of them are pretty easy. I will look at a few more difficult, challenging ones uh, so that you can uh, take a look at them, okay? So so uh, check back the next video uh, to go over some uh, more challenging questions, okay?